What is up guys? So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It seems like there are a lot of you out there who want to explore outside of the virtual cabin in Friday the 13th. So I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to do that because it doesn't really seem like there is much information out there on it, even though it's actually very simple to do. So first things first, you're going to open up the uh, file explorer for the drive that you have the game on and navigate to your game location. For me, that's program files x86. Go through there. Steam. Steam apps, common, and then F13 game virtual cabin. Once you're in there, you're gonna go to F13 virtual, content, virtual cabins, interactables, and then you're gonna scroll down and you will see virtual cabin door dot U asset. Now the idea here is just to make this file not work and the easiest and safest way to do that is just to simply delete the U asset extension um, after it right here, which you see me doing and then save it as that. It will say the file will become unusable, which is exactly what we want. Now simply load into Friday the 13th and you should see that the door or any doors are not even on the cabin anymore. And there you have it. And to put the doors back on the cabin, it's simply the process in reverse. You're gonna just rename the file and reinstate the .u asset. And you should see here that it's now a uasset file again, and you are good to go. Now to make sure you can load back into the game. And if all went correctly, your door should be back. Perfect. Now, if anything goes wrong during this process, like say for whatever reason, the file gets corrupted or you lose it, like I'll just delete it right here. What you want to do if anything's corrupted or your game stops working, go to the main directory for it and just delete a bunch of stuff like this. Not necessarily everything, just these files here because they're relatively small. Then you're going to want to head into Steam, go to Library, right click your game, go to Properties, Local Files, and then verify the integrity of the game cache. And what it's going to do is it'll inspect your game and find out what's wrong or what's missing and it will re-download it. So even though you guys saw me delete the door and delete all those files, they will be replaced and when I load into the game again, everything will be fixed. So, as you can see, everything is fixed. That's what you do if anything goes wrong. I hope this video helps some of you guys out. Have fun exploring out there and thanks for watching the video.